All right. It's time to soak some rice. Saturday morning, gonna fly Monday. Only one thing left to do. Actually, that's not true. Two things left to do. Soak the seed today. Leave it in water for 24 hours. Drain it in the morning. And that'll be the last step before flying. Okay, it must seem really odd, I know for a lot of people watching, that we'd be putting water on this perfectly good rice seed. But it really does give it a jump start. All seeds have to have water to germinate. And by going ahead and soaking the seed the way we're doing here, when we um, sow it in the water with a plain it's really already growing it's already sprouted we feel like that gives us a good jump and on the season we get a better more even stand rice when we're doing it Drain it off, let it sit for 24 hours, and that'll be Monday morning. It'll be ready to go. Happy Easter, everyone. Time to drain some seed. Okay, so today <clears throat> we start planting, and we're actually going to plant with an airplane today. It's still too wet to get the tractors in the field. That's not usually our first choice to, choice anymore, but um, it works, and it's a it's a method that has its upsides and its downsides. But the primary reason we're moving forward that way is we need to get some rise to the ground early. Um, early in April so we can spread our harvest out come come this fall so we want to get some in now um, we'll start adding some more as we go and hopefully next week as the week goes on we can start drilling a little bit with our um, our tractors too but we wanted to get a, a jump on things and get some early planted rice and um, so we'll be dropping it in the water with the airplane this morning we'll be showing you more about that and how that looks and we're just glad to be um, be starting off. All right, good morning, everybody. This is the day we've been waiting for for a while. This is the day we're gonna sow rice. Uh, we've got a few cameras out on the farm. Mark has one, Harrison has one. Hopefully have a few shots of the, the a camera on the plane. Hope that works out. I'll show you here. Beautiful sunrise. That field across the way there, field number one, that's where it's going. 
I'm uh, I'm driving around. A couple other guys on the farm are driving around, trying to make sure we don't have any ducks or any other kind of birds that might get in the way of the airplane. Birds and airplanes really don't mix, so trying to drive around honker horn a little bit, get the ducks scared off to a safer field. And um, we're about to get started here in the next 15, 20 minutes probably, so stay tuned. I'm gonna put my boots on, try to be out in the field when the plane starts flying, make sure everything's falling where it needs to fall and communicate that back to the airstrip so that we don't have any missed spots or spots that are too thick or anything like that. So follow along and we'll uh, keep you posted through the day. Here we go. All right, everybody. It's Monday morning and just like I promised you, we are gonna plant some rice today. It's gonna be awesome. Um, as you can tell, I'm a little bit sleepy. It's early in the morning. It's about seven o'clock right now. The sun's just coming up behind me there. Um, I'm driving over to the flying service right now, which is a few miles away from, um, from the farm and i'm gonna go over here and i'm gonna strap this here camera that i'm speaking to you through at the moment and i'm gonna strap it somewhere on this crop duster so that we can um, get some footage of how this rice comes out of there and what it looks like and uh, yeah just give you a cool view now one of two things is gonna happen either you're never gonna see this video because this camera is somewhere in the nothingness of between here between the airstrip here and the farm or uh, you're gonna have a really awesome video of the airplane all right we're at the flying service I got a different camera because well the cameras on the plane and we're gonna see what happens they're getting it fired up and uh, here we go Get out in the field here. The airplane is supposed to be on its way, so we're going to see if we can catch the first pass. While we're doing that, I want to show you the field. As you can see we've got water on it, but also you can still see some of the um, some of the stubble from last fall. So this is a no-till field. We were able to harvest this and then get rid of the straw. And now we're planning into that, so this has not had any tillage. I think he was just making a little bit of a test pass there. Dropped some seed in the other corner probably just to get things calibrated. I like the way the seed bed looks out here. We've got a, just enough straw. Oh, here it comes. Get it.
dropped a little seed that time, but I think he's still working on calibration. All right, he's coming with his second load. About to line up. I think I'm in the pass that he's about to make. We'll see how it works out. So that's one field down and um, plane has gone back to the airstrip to load up. We're headed over to our second field to get started. So that's about 60 acres planted so far. We're about to knock out another 50 here in just a minute. So while I do have a fascination with airplanes, the reason that I'm following the plane around today is not just to, for my entertainment. Um, the airplane has a very sophisticated guidance system integrated into it that somebody smarter than me would have to explain to you. But what it's doing, instead of the pilot having to manually operate the gate to control when the seed starts to fall out of the, the hopper on the plane. It actually does it automatically when it crosses the field borders that their computer program software has integrated into it. It has all of our field borders in it. So the plane knows where our field borders are. 
it knows um, where the levees are, like this one that I'm driving down right here. You can see a field on the left, field on the right. Um, even though this plane, I'm gonna step out of my truck here for a second. Even though this plane is flying across three fields while he's sowing, back in the old days, the pilot would just let the let the rice fall even as it crossed. Now, the plane knows where this levee is, and so the gate is closing and opening, depending on which way it's going, when it crosses this levee to try to keep as much seed as we can in the field. And that is a pretty sweet technology. But we're trying to dial that in, or they're trying to dial that in, and I'm just here to observe and kind of give feedback to the pilot as to how well it's working. All right, so I'm gonna go up here to this, this last pass that he made. And you can see there is a little bit of seed on the levee, a little bit. And there's one, there, there's a few there, but nothing like what it would be if he was just leaving the gate open as it crosses this. And this is not a very wide levee. This levee's probably only, I don't know, maybe 20 feet wide, if that. Um, so it's adjusting for his airspeed, for wind, um, and the pilot can, can kind of dial that in, in in the plane. That's why they need that feedback. So another thing that we're trying to decide with this is whether or not to come back and do a trim pass on each side of the field over here and over here. I think it looks like we're getting seed out to the edges, but in water seeding, it seems to be that your edges are where you're going to have your spots that maybe get a little bit missed with seed. So we've made the decision today to sow a few fields at a time and then go back and do a trim pass on each inbound and outbound you know north he's flying north and south so the north and south edges of of each field just to make sure that we get seed to every edge and so that's kind of how that's going today we'll see how we'll see how it goes the wind's starting to pick up seems like it always picks up every time we water seed that's just this time of the year but all overall i think things look pretty good so i'm just going to keep following him around so years ago when we did a lot of water seeding we made these buckets with the clear bottom in them and the reason for that sometimes when we sow rice in water the water is murky this is murky because it's get a little bit of a seed count to count how many are in that window I'm not really doing an official seed count right now but you can see how much better you can see that seed laying there on the ground already a few aquatic weeds out here which I was expecting turned out to be hey, lucky. Turned out to be a really pretty day here on the farm. We got a lot of work done. We got a lot of rice sown. And this is just the beginning. There'll be much more to come. Thanks for tuning in. And we'll see you next time.
Chris don't have to edit out my bad language for dropping the camera. Video myself trying to get out of this stupid truck.